If you're familiar with the world of cryptocurrencies, you're probably aware of the term forks. A fork is an agreed upon modification to the blockchain's underlying protocol. There are two types of forks, soft and hard, that can happen when this occurs. In this video, we'll go through an overview of a soft fork on a blockchain, including how it functions, how it's triggered, a few examples of soft forks, and how it can be distinguished from a hard fork. Hello, and thank you for joining us here at Crypto Dominion. I'm Alison, and I'll be giving you the most up-to-date advice and strategies for everything pertaining to the cryptocurrency field, in addition to a great deal of information regarding the enterprise as a whole and its expansion patterns. So if you're interested, click the subscribe button. On the channel, we frequently upload content related to cryptocurrencies. You may increase your chances of winning our continuing giveaway of a MacBook by giving us a like, clicking the button to subscribe, and leaving a comment below. There will be more info at the end. Let's get started. In the case of Bitcoin, as well as other cryptocurrencies, a soft fork takes place whenever the cryptocurrency chain experiences a temporary divergence. A soft fork is an update in a software protocol that renders previously valid transactions invalid. Modifications that are implemented from a soft fork are backward compatible, which means that existing nodes can still add new blocks to the blockchain as long as they follow the new rules. Blockchain protocol, simply put, refers to rules that the blockchain adheres to. Now let's talk about and characterize soft forks with respect to the blockchain protocol. Blockchain protocols, what do they do? A blockchain is a public distributed ledger that stores transactions on a worldwide network of computers referred to as nodes. All nodes are alike and are linked via the internet. Before a transaction can be recorded on the blockchain, it must be verified by all participating nodes on the network. All of the peers, nodes, in a blockchain network must all adhere to the same set of rules or blockchain protocols for the network to function properly. The following items make up said rules. One, guidelines for managing and validating network transactions. Two, an algorithm that specifies how the various nodes in a network will communicate with one another. Three, a computer software interface in some circumstances. A soft fork is a tweak to the software protocol that renders previously valid transaction blocks invalid. A soft fork is considered backward compatible because old nodes will identify the new blocks on the blockchain as valid. Soft forks are the most popular way to upgrade a Bitcoin blockchain since they pose a lower risk of interrupting the network. In addition, unlike hard forks, soft forks merely require the majority of miners to update their software in order to implement the new rules. A soft fork can also arise as a result of a temporary change in the blockchain, such as when miners using non-upgraded nodes fail to comply with a new consensus rule that their nodes are unfamiliar with. If non-upgraded nodes continue to mine blocks, the upgraded nodes will reject them. A hard fork, on the other hand, is a protocol change that calls for all network nodes to upgrade their software to the latest version in order to continue participating in the network. A hard fork, as opposed to a soft fork, restricts nodes in the upgraded version of the blockchain from recognising old rules. Only new rules are observed. Soft forks versus hard forks. Hard forks and soft forks are similar in that they both revise the existing code of a cryptocurrency platform. While both of these types of forks are necessary for the continuous operation and successful governance of blockchain networks, there are significant differences between the two. To start with, a soft fork results in the original blockchain remaining valid as an increasing number of people apply the new version. It is simply a gradual update to the existing blockchain. On the other hand, with a hard fork, the old and new blockchains coexist. A user is required to update their software to run under the new rules. Simply put, a hard fork is a sudden split in the blockchain. So while both forks result in a split of some sort, a soft fork retains one blockchain, whereas a hard fork splits one blockchain into two. Therefore, the fundamental difference between a soft fork and a hard fork in this regard is how important it is to upgrade node software to continuously participate in the network. When it comes to making a major security update to a blockchain, most developers will opt for a hard fork. Even though it requires more computer power, a hard fork is seen as far more secure in this regard. Hard forks can occur as a result of a disagreement in a blockchain community, as demonstrated by the Bitcoin Cash hard fork in 2018. 
It developed from conflicts within the Bitcoin blockchain community about block size and scalability. Soft forks, on the other hand, typically resolve themselves through consensus and involve a more unified sentiment among a blockchain community. How do soft forks function? As explained earlier, a soft fork develops as a result of a backward compatible modification in the software protocol. As such, the new fork chain observes both the new and old rules. In short, the original chain still adheres to the existing rules. New transactions are often soft forks that call for both the participants, receiver and sender, and miners to recognise the new transaction type. This consists of showing the new transaction type to previous clients, pay to anyone transactions, and encouraging miners to reject old blocks that included such transactions unless the transaction complies with the new rules. In order to launch a soft fork, most miners must be operating a client that recognises the fork. In other words, the more miners who follow the new rules, the safer the post-fork network will be. For example, if 75% of miners acknowledge the fork, the remaining 15% won't be guaranteed to adhere to the new rules. They will, however, continue to be valid for old nodes that are still unaware of the latest rules, but will be disregarded by new nodes. In relation to upgrades, soft forks do not require nodes to update in order for them to maintain consensus. This is due to the fact that all blocks with the new soft forked in rules also follow the previous rules. As a result, previous clients accept them. To reverse the soft forks, a hard fork is necessary. This is due to the fact that a soft fork merely certifies the valid block sets as being an acceptable subset of what was valid before the fork. If users upgrade to a post soft fork client and then a majority decides to revert to the pre soft fork client, the post soft fork client users will cause a disruption in the blockchain's harmony as soon as a block that infringes their client's new rules becomes available. What causes soft forks to occur? You've probably realised by now that a soft fork is merely a cosmetic change. It modifies or adds functionalities without really messing with the framework of the blockchain and may arise from a variety of factors, such as a change in consensus algorithm or software upgrades. There is also what is known as a minor activated soft fork, MASF, which takes place whenever the majority of miners on a network upgrade use their hashing power to impose new rules. Another type of soft fork known as User Activated Soft Fork, UASF, is when full nodes come together to implement new rules without the assistance of miners. A soft fork may also develop as a result of a temporary divergence in the blockchain, for as when miners using non-upgraded nodes disregard a fresh rule that their nodes are unfamiliar with. Soft forks are the most accepted method for upgrading Bitcoin blockchains since they are seen to have a lesser chance of dividing the network. Previous instances of soft forks that have succeeded include software enhancements such as BIP66, which dealt with signature validation, and P2HH, which changed the address formatting in Bitcoin. Here are some examples of soft forks. 1. BIPs, 34, 65 and 66, were set up on the Bitcoin blockchain via minor signalling, which took use of the number of block versions, essentially, New consensus rules were proposed for use in blocks with a higher version number than the currently in-use block version on the network. 2. P2SH, or pay to script hash, was a patch implemented to the Bitcoin blockchain in 2012 that changed how transactions were verified. It is most readily recognised as Bitcoin addresses that begin with a 3 rather than a 1. 3. Segwit, or segregated witness, was a Bitcoin soft fork that increased transaction speed. Because a new block of transactions is mined every 10 minutes on average, the goal was to increase the number of transactions that could be included in each block. Segwit would free up space in each block, which could then be utilised to accommodate more transactions. This was accomplished by removing the public key and signature associated with each transaction from the block, and then transmitting them via separate message channels. Because the public key and signature account for over 60% of the total transaction size, Transmitting them separately can increase the number of transactions in each block. The wrap-up. Forks allow a blockchain network to upgrade itself, while also bringing new features to existing cryptocurrencies, such as expanding capabilities, which are essential for utilisation. Soft forks are frequently used in Bitcoin blockchains to apply new and improved rules, as well as backward-compatible algorithms. Generally, the difficulties stem from the fork's execution rather than its basic idea. For this reason, 
Efficient governance processes are critical to their implementation. Before I send you on your way, let's talk about the giveaway item. A brand new MacBook will be given away when we reach 50,000 subscribers. Simply like, subscribe, and leave a comment on this video to be entered to win. Because this is truly random, the more videos you comment on, the higher your chances are. Hitting the notification bell with all notifications enabled is always the most effective approach to staying updated with the content. And that's all for today's video. What are your thoughts about soft forks? Have you experienced being part of a soft fork during your crypto journey? Let us know in the comments section below. If you enjoy tips and tricks on everything cryptocurrency, check out our other videos. Thanks for checking this channel out. Stick around, we'll be posting again real soon.